Good afternoon, YouTube. Hope you all are doing fine. So it's a beautiful Friday afternoon. First September. New rule has come into amendment. Uh, amendment in the sense like a new rule has uh, come in Tamil Nadu that uh, you gotta carry your original driver's license, no photocopies. Well, it's not much of an effect to me because I'm carrying my DL from the day one, original driving license day one. But there are some people who have an issue with it. Okay, so let's see if uh, any cop stops me. Well, right now I'm going to uh, buy uh, kerosene for uh, cleaning my chain because that's the best and most economical way that's the best and economical way of cleaning your chain of all debris because I like to flush out my chain perfectly and if I try to do that with a chain cleaner, I'll probably go bankrupt after a few chain cleans, after a few chain maintenance. Yeah. So I like to thoroughly wash, wash it like exactly. Like I'll probably make a video on it in future. But right now, I think I won't be making. I'll probably make an overview kind of, like a sneak peek kind of. Yeah. So I'm going now to the dealer to get it. And I'm anticipating any cop pullover. I'm expecting some cop pullover. Let's see if I if it happens. Come on. Oh the corporation seriously needs to fix up these service roads. It's so bumpy. The only thing irritating about this bike is sometimes, sometimes, sometimes irritating is the fan because uh, it comes when you least expect it like when you're driving slowly or you want to be quiet from any sounds yeah, and that time it happened and it's burning, morning it was raining, it's burning, that's how the weather in Chennai is, I don't know why oh, baby. Ford, Ford, Ford. One day I'll buy that Mustang. One day. I don't know when, but one day. Yeah. Probably I won't, or I'll probably make a special order because one of the big letdown was uh, during the launch was it didn't come with a manual variant. Yes, the Mustang comes with the manual variant, but then unfortunately I don't know for what reason a manual variant wasn't launched in India and automatic Mustangs are all about manual like proper mechanical like manual power the amount of uh, thrill and confidence you get in manual is unmatched and I don't know why people buy it Mustang manual or nothing Mustang. If you're getting a Ford Mustang, you have to get the manual, not automatic. There's no point because if you want to get the full rear wheel drive fun, manual, bro. Like when you're just when you're at a red signal and it goes green, the clutch biting point plus full accelerator, nothing comes close to that level of ha happiness you get when you get wheel spin. But that's not possible in the uh, automatic variant. That perfect, the precision will never come. That's why. I don't know what I'm talking. I'm riding bikes and talking about cars. Well, as you know, it's completely unscripted. So I just talk whatever comes to my mind. I hope it's open. It's open. Yes. <sighs> car cast, one of the best car washing showrooms. Be right back. So yeah, 
got kerosene unfortunately got it on my hands as well I just wiped it out there was no water supply over there and I put my gloves what am I thinking screw I'll just wash it but then after so much struggle got it because uh, I can't get kerosene for the ration I'm not eligible for it so yeah and there are only very few authorized dealers over here in Chennai I finally got it the chain is gonna get its love so first time uh, I'm going to be looping on this bike all this time it was uh, I used to be in a service center and trust me one of the worst jobs I've ever seen they don't even know how to loop properly they literally loop on the outer chain okay it's fine always they're trying like all the directions but then you gotta wipe off the excess man it's just flinging off everywhere on the wheel the rims sometimes it gets on the tire also and I almost had a slip so here's something this is what happens when you put inexperienced not even, it's not about experience actually it's about common sense people have no common sense for service that's what happens and now I might show you how to do it the real the proper way I have to admit it, the Royal Enfield showroom looks classy. One thing I about, like about Royal Enfields are not about their bikes. It's not their bikes, but their showroom. It's so nice. It's almost like a international manufacturer type showroom. I thought there'd be cops on every stop. But then now, first time in my life, I'm seeing cops pulling over buses. I at least saw while coming near my near uh, like two stops back. I literally saw uh, the cop pulling over a bus. Mm, so bus. Oh shit! Sorry. If you're wondering why I ride at higher RPMs at all times, not all time, most of the time, it's because I like the torque. You just can't get enough of the torque the bike gives you. Like, literally after uh, the 5000 or 5500 mark, it's a whole new different beast. So like, I stress the third gear up to maybe 80, 90. The decelerating sound is also quite good. The new exhaust was definitely one of the best updates KTM ever made. Because uh, the exhaust has, the exhaust pops actually, the stock exhaust it pops. I don't know whether it's designed like that or it's just happening in my bike. But it just pops. And when you back open the throttle, it's like different sound. Like the tone change, like like the valve of an Armatrix exhaust when it opens. How does like similar? I've completed around seven. Uh, wait, so I've just, I guess I've completed around uh, 700 kilometers after the last looping uh, service, after the last chain service. And the chain loop which they use is not of that much good quality. It's 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 like it's uh, like water. So it's uh, bound to go within few hundred kilometers. And since it was raining, 
it was like raining almost every day i'm pretty sure the loop went off within 400 or even 350 kilometers and i've been riding dry i guess ever since then i hope nothing happened to the rollers so the bike is going to get all the love it can get i can give Even my bike looks filthy. You know, it's been almost uh, one month since I since I washed my bike. Because once I wash the bike, it doesn't even stay clean for the whole day. Right? Because there's just so much water everywhere. It, it'll get dirty. The moment you take it out, it get dirty again. So I'm thinking of buying a pressure washer from Karcher. Maybe I might buy it this month. Not sure. If I buy it, I'll probably clean it each and every day. If I go take it to the shop or the washing center, 150 rupees. And the effect only stays for about half a day sometime. I don't know. Okay. So maybe I might continue this vlog for chain lubing. I'm not sure. Chain service. Let's see. Otherwise, let me sign out here itself. So if you guys like the video, please like it. If you dislike it, please dislike it. Comment down below. Because if you want to tell me something, or comment. And please press subscribe button so that it will increase in my subscriber count. Thank you. Bye-bye. So this is all needed, this is all what is needed, a brush, chain loop, uh, one is C1, one is C2, which is a chain cleaner and chain loop and kerosene, that's it, kerosene is the best. <laughs>is how a chain clean should be like when you rub on this you don't get any debris on your hand see it took almost 40 minutes to clean this baby clean the chain and yeah, but